You guessed it, I moved to Dubai. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alba and I post travel and lifestyle videos. If you follow me on social media, you already know that, well, you guessed it by reading the title of this video, I moved to Dubai. Um, this is the reason why I haven't been very active on social media, including YouTube, but it was about time that I made this video and I explained to you guys about the process, what a crazy journey it has been. So I'm gonna start the video by telling you guys why I moved to Dubai. This is a question that I'm getting all the time and to be completely honest with you, I don't have a straight up answer. Truth is that there is so many reasons why I moved to Dubai. This would be such a long topic and I could be talking about it for hours. So I'm going to be writing a blog post about why I moved to Dubai where I will list all the reasons on noveltravels.com. So go check it out there. It'll probably be up next week. So keep an eye on it. In reality, it's not that I wanted to move here and I wanted to come to this country. The truth is I just wanted a change. I have been living in Europe my entire life and I had spent six years in the UK already and I was feel feeling like it was time for a change. So the Middle East for me was a perfect place because I've never been here and I'm just so excited to get to know it. The second thing I want to talk to you guys about is the process of moving here. So as you can imagine, it has been a really long process and a bit of a stressful journey to be completely honest with you. Firstly, I had to make sure that I secured the job before I moved here. Um, and then I had to do all the paperwork for my visa um, because to come to this country you need a visa especially if you're going um, to stay here for a long time you need a work permit and this paperwork and this process was not very long to be honest with you but there was a lot of waiting time where I didn't know what was happening um, I just had to wait and wait and it was a bit stressful but all of that obviously got sorted out so eventually I had to pack all my things to come and move in Dubai another stressful moment I have been living in the UK for six years which means I had a lot of stuff to pack in just like tiny boxes I actually didn't ship anything to the UAE I shipped some stuff back home to Spain but only one big box and here to the UAE to Dubai I came with my suitcases so I had to get rid of a lot of stuff it comes all the things about moving to a new country so I had to find a flat I had to sort out all my visa I had to start my new job and adapt to a completely new culture that I've never seen before um, so it's been a bit of a stressful moments for me however you know I've been here for two weeks now and I am adapting so I'm hoping to show you guys a little bit more about Dubai in my next videos I asked all my followers on Instagram to ask me any questions that they had about my move in Dubai and I've got some here with me that I'm gonna read and I'm gonna give you guys my answer. So, someone asked me what are you enjoying the most about Dubai compared to London? That is a very easy question, like honestly the weather, I am loving the heat and being able to just go in the pool every evening or going to the beach on the weekend is my favorite thing about Dubai. Um, someone asked for me to talk about the differences in temperature, culture and food. So that's three different topics I'm going to cover. So first of all, temperature, obviously completely different to what I'm used to in the UK. So here it's hot weather all year round. However, in the winter months, so from like October to February, the temperatures cool down a little bit. You can experience from 25 degrees to 36 degrees, which is a pretty normal summer in Europe. However, during the summer months, apparently here it's super hot. Uh, you can't even go outside, but I'll tell you more about it when I experience it something obviously to take into account is quite humid because we are by the coast so not everything is roses um, in terms of the culture there is a very mixed culture here obviously you have the Middle Eastern culture but Dubai as a city is a very multicultural place there's people from all around the world which is really cool and um, kind of very similar to London where you'll find place, uh, people from everywhere real quick real quick it's just uh, your boy Naz here 
Um, yes, it is. Uh, Dubai is a super multicultural city. There's people from different nationalities. But as opposed to London, where it's multicultural in a white way, is and you see white people from France, from Italy, from Germany, from Portugal, Spain, etc. Here you see a lot of people from different nationalities, but brown is the normal. Like you see people from India, from Pakistan, Bangladesh, Lebanon, Egypt, Palestine, etc. Um, so yeah, multicultural in a different, but different to the to London standards, which is a good thing. There's also a lot because I blend in. <laughs> I like it. There's also a lot of white people on that. See ya. <laughs> in terms of the food, it's quite quite very much different to Europe and to what I'm used to um, because it's mainly Asian food, obviously. Um, and the main uh, food that you'll find here is Indian food. Uh, and that is because there is a huge Indian um, community in the UAE. So obviously the food here relates. Another question I have is, is Dubai as safe as they say? Um, yes, I mean, I've obviously been, only been here for two weeks, but so far so good. It's such a safe place, I've never felt in danger. I feel like it's a pretty safe place. Um, another question is, is it an expensive city? Um, yes, I think. Most people would consider it an expensive city. For me, coming from London, I think it's pretty on par. Um, however, there are things that are cheaper than London, like taxis are very cheap. Um, but in general, I would say it's, it's a pretty expensive city. And I have a whole lot, bunch of questions from my aunt, but sorry aunt, I will answer those over WhatsApp. <laughs> um, my aunt is the only one that loves me on Instagram. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope I answered some of your questions about my move to Dubai. If not, please feel free to leave a comment um, or even drop me a message on Instagram and I can do another Q&A video if you're interested. However, um, I live in Dubai now, so you are going to see a lot more uh, Dubai content coming soon thank you for watching please follow me on social media and go check out my blog on novel thank you and goodbye